Father, help us to grow in spiritual strength so that we may be a guiding light to those around us, leading them to your truth and your love. May our life be a testimony to your grace and mercy, inspiring others to seek refuge in your embrace and to put on the armor of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning, happy new day, happy Saturday, August 5, 2023. This is Love All, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia is an heaven language. Alleluia song will never cease from out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is increasing your spiritual capacity. Increase your spiritual capacity. And then we first and we find the book of 2 Corinthians 4 verse 18. I read. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? For the things that are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Many people say that the spiritual control the physical, and this is very true. However, many people don't take advantage of this acknowledge. And this knowledge, it is time to start increasing your capacity in the spirit so that you can begin to control things in the physical. The stronger you become in the spirit, the stronger you will be in the physical. If you don't believe me, this second king, one verse nine, and then compare it to the second king, six, verse fourteen to fifteen. When the king went to arrest Elijah, he sent fifty soldiers and their captain. But when Elisha was to be arrested, the king sent an entire army. Elisha had a double portion of the spirit of Elijah, so in the physical. He was also stronger than Elijah. The deeper you go in the spirit, the higher you fly in the physical. The people of the world seem to understand this better than most Christians. If an idol worshiper is to be given a position, he must complete some ritual things. Many shallow Christians today go to the world and try to compete with the same people for such position. Everyone know that the higher the building will be, the deeper its foundation must also be. You must begin to study your Bible, pray and fast more, if you really want to excel in life. The deeper you go, the higher you fly. Many have read the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but only a few people have learned deep things about spiritual dealing from the Word of God. Many read Proverbs 6 verse 26, but when they are being seduced by women, they can't decide that there is an agenda in the spirit realm to destroy them. This is why there are many Christians falling prey to the trick of devil today because they don't understand how he operates and what to do to defeat him. If you want to become a millionaire, you will contend with the demon that contend with millionaires. God will not take you to a level that your spiritual capacity cannot handle. If it does, then it is setting you up for defeat. Increase your spiritual capacity and you will see him raise you higher until your physical dominance match your spiritual capacity. But then, increase your spiritual capacity and God will help you. I want us to read the book of James 4 verse 7 to 8, and our Bible in one year, Jeremiah 6 verse 8, our hymn in 12, onward Christian soldiers, onward Christian soldiers, our key point for today, if you can rule in the spirit, you will definitely rule 
in the physical. If you can rule in the spirit, you will definitely rule in the physical. And I pray ever will be your powerful shield and your armor. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brother, this is Love 4. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And bye for now. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah.